Caudle Hop. What is Caudle Hop? No, it's nothing to do with music, although you might think so. A Caudle Hop is an interesting form of radio propagation where signals travel halfway around the world with very little loss. Let me explain about Caudal Hop. It's rather interesting. I'm going to show you how you can actually listen to Caudal Hop signals. Now, I've no way of knowing whether this is Caudal Hop except that over the past year listening to these signals and carrying out various experiments and talking to various experts on propagation it does seem that this probably is caudal hop it's a fascinating form of propagation it's a propagation where signals can travel over a very long distance on the hf bands with apparently very little loss so let me show you how you can listen to live caudal hop signals on the HF bands. I've been working Brian ZL3XDJ on a regular basis over the past year or so. And the signals from him are extraordinarily strong and very, very consistent. He's currently running about 100 watts into a vertical antenna, uh, an elevated vertical antenna. He's got a vertical with four radials and it's about two meters above the ground. And this antenna is operating on the 20 meter band. He has got another antenna which is ground based, vertical again, on 40 meters. But his most consistent signals are on 20 meters. Now, Brian is located in the uh, bottom of the southern island of New Zealand, right at the bottom. And he's around about half a mile or so from the sea. I've put up on the screen now uh, a picture of where Brian is basically located. It looks very nice. But the extraordinary thing is that the consistency and strength of signals that come from Brian. Now let me explain. Every morning Brian is on the band on 40 meters or 20 meters usually. Sometimes he operates on 17 meters but by and large it's 40 meters or 20 meters. And he operates just at the point when it's getting dusk. And we in the UK can hear his signals just after it gets light. In other words, we're making use of the grey zone. Here's how caudal hop basically works. The signal travels up to the F2 layer and it's bounced around and comes back down to earth at some far flung point. In other words, it doesn't have the losses that would occur in multi-hop when the signal hits the ionized layer, goes back down to earth, etc, etc. And caudal hop seems to favour the long path to the antipodes. Now, let me put up on the screen a typical chart of um, Brian signals propagated from New Zealand to Europe. And I think when you look at it, you'll see that there are no signals being propagated anywhere halfway along the path. The signals come from Brian, they travel halfway around the world, and they land in Western Europe, which does strongly suggest caudal hop. There's no halfway point at all. The signals don't come out anywhere else apart from the Antipodes. And of course, um, UK is basically the Antipodes of New Zealand, give or take two or three hundred miles. Now that signal trace was taken from Reverse Beacon, which is a network which monitors CW signals. Brian, I should explain, spends a lot of time on CW 
that's his main mode of communication. He does go onto SSB occasionally, but mainly CW. Now, I promise you I'm going to show you how you can actually hear Cordal Hop live. What you need to do is you need to fire up Reverse Beacon. Reverse, if you type in on the search bar, Reverse Beacon DX, you should find that on the screen comes a little box where you can fill in a call sign. You type in ZL3XDJ and that will then search for Brian's CQs. Now Brian normally puts out a CQ at the moment, so I'm shooting this video in January, at the moment he's putting out CQs around about quarter to eight in the morning, sometimes a bit earlier on 40 metres, but around about quarter to eight you'll put out CQs on a band, probably 20 metres. Now if you look at the uh, reverse beacon network um, report you'll see he's sending out CQs and it will show all the stations that are receiving his CQ but most importantly it will also show you the frequencies putting out the CQ so what you need to do is to look at the frequency then set up that frequency on your transceiver and just listen and you should hear his CW signals now there is a there is a bit of a delay in reverse beacon reporting it's possible that he'll put out a CQ reverse beacon will report it by which time is in QSO but if you if you dial into your transceiver or satellite transceiver on that frequency you should hear his signals now one other thing you can do is you can go into QRZ go into QRZ.com Again, type his call sign in ZL3XDJ and then uh, click on his logbook. And his logbook will show you which band is on at the moment and which stations is working. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the frequency, it shows the band, but not the frequency. The frequency you'll get with reverse beacon. So, there we are. It's interesting. Propagation. I think HF propagation is very interesting. We can never be sure the method of propagation. And we don't fully understand it. We know an awful lot about it. But I think as ham radio operators, we can still explore it. There's still room for discovery and better understanding of it. And uh, Brian tells me that um, 15 metres has been open, uh, which will be our morning time, I think. When 20 metres closes for the um, uh, contact between uh, New Zealand and UK, uh, which is in the morning our time and uh, evening uh, his time he tells me that 15 sometimes opens up so uh, it's worth checking 15 as well but you can see what Brian's doing if you look at a reverse beacon and also QRZ look at the logbook there okay well I hope you found this video informative it's a little bit different but uh, I found it very interesting to participate in the tests we've been doing over the last year we're still doing tests on the antennas and so forth. But in the meantime, thank you for your support on this channel. Thank you for your support on the website. Thank you for your support at the shop. Don't forget, Waters and Sons have been going 52 years. And we know a fair bit about ham radio. In the meantime, you enjoy your ham radio. You take care. And look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>